In some cases, there may be leakage from the backflush manifold. This results from a failure in the system causing a backflush valve to remain open. If you face such a problem, proceed with the following steps. First, check for a damaged solenoid. Disconnect all 8mm tubes from the backflush valve and make sure water is not coming out of any of them. Find a tube with running water, replace the solenoid commanding it. In order to replace the solenoid, you must first disconnect the controller from its electricity source. Disconnect the solenoid from the controller. Then close the valve of the command filter. Next, disconnect the 8mm tubes from the malfunction solenoid. Disassemble the malfunction solenoid and replace it with a new one. Connect the 8mm tubes to the new solenoid. Connect the solenoid back to the controller. Next, reconnect the controller to the electricity source. Check the controller settings and make sure all are correct. In the command filter valve. Perform a manual back flush cycle.
check the back flush manifold after the back flush cycle to see if the leakage has stopped. If the leakage has not stopped, or if during the stage of checking the 8mm tubes you didn't find a leakage, then please contact your Netafem representative.